Hello, Twitter. Twi. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Hello, people. Hey, guys. Welcome to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for tuning in. And if you are seeing this channel and this face for the first time, my name is Christy, and you are welcome to the channel. So the other day we went to visit a local brewery and I decided to, you know, capture some aspects of the visit and decided to come and show you guys. So if you are seeing this um, channel for the first time, do well to click on the subscribe button. Thank you and turn on your notification bell. Thanks. Thanks very, very much. <laughs> So we went to the, a local brewery and um, I'll just tell you some backstory about this brewery. So when we visited this place, it's kind of busted. There's this myth, uh, yeah, with this now, I know it is a myth. There's this myth we have back home in Nigeria and it is that any money you get from winning a lottery cannot be used for anything that will earn you more money, kind of. When you win money through lottery, you will waste the money something like that <laughs> so this brewery was actually born out of a win a lottery win that happened i think in 2011 or 2012 and the person the owner of this brewery actually won 14.6 million dollars in a lottery and decided to build this though it, it didn't start this big but he decided to you know use that money to turning you no know, building this big brewery it's actually not from the outside you won't think it's um, a big place i'll find a picture i took from the outside and put it somewhere on this video it doesn't actually look like a big place from outside but when you enter into like there are lots of there, there's a lot of things going on in this place and it's just you know made me know that mm, there are some things that i've known since when i was a baby that are actually not true like some things are just you know people's imagination of yeah their imagination of the things they feel should be but sometimes it's not always so it's just like when people tell you something and you feel like it can be different i think you should go for it this person actually went for it and yes it came out with this the place is actually big i couldn't you know like i vlogged a lot of parts but i couldn't you know just pack everything and show you it it will be too long of a video so that's just me showing you some of the items on sale in that place you know and it's all about wine different types of wine products different types of wine i, I think this place is more suited to people that drink but because i don't drink it was like okay let's just see what's happening here and it was just like okay let's see what um the local businesses we have around us and hear a bit of their history and that was what led to this the visit of this place in the first place and yes even though i don't drink i actually like learned some things from the story like you can you can go against maybe like an age-old idea or an age-old um well it's not a truth an age-old myth and this person was able to bring up this big place so that's just the, uh, those are the people we went to the place together just looking around and you know looking at how massive this place is the kind of equipment that are filled up in this place it's quite a massive massive place and i enjoyed my time here even though i don't drink <laughs> i enjoyed visiting this place because it's just like um an eye opener to what you can achieve if you put your mind to it so this person put his mind into ensuring that his business it just it explained the process the process is not it's not it's not one day job the process is quite lengthy and all the things they need the measurement and it explained a lot of things but you know just looking around and just checking and looking at how you know and the fact that somebody can win 14 point something million dollars it's not like accumulated winning so like you won't win and i think that's where the name of the business came from the name of the business is lucky bastard <laughs> and when we asked him how he came about that name he said somebody was just somebody heard about how much he won and then the person went mm, you're such a lucky bastard and that's you know <laughs> the way they form company names here yeah, sometimes i'm just like kilo day and this was they gave us a gift card and this was what i could use to my gift card to buy a fuzzy slippers 
and then we went to a japanese restaurant just after we finished at the brewery just to have dinner and then you know go home but something interesting about this restaurant is that anything you order you must finish it if you don't finish it they will charge you um, they will charge you f for what you don't finish <laughs> like you pay for the food and if you don't finish what you order you'll be charged for what you leave over so i think we were about six or seven people that went and this was all the food we ordered they're just small 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 things but by the time we ate up to a point we were filled up like i think we were about six and that was like the favorite thing i had in this place chicken fried rice it was really yummy one of the reasons i didn't i didn't want to come and that was because i heard that japanese restaurant they like they like uncooked food sushi and all that i mean i was like eh, eh. i never chop liver rich man they chop food with the no cook but I was told that there were some cooked foods and I enjoyed that Japanese um, fried chicken fried rice. And that was my plate after the food. What does this suggest to you? I enjoyed the food and I ate everything. And at some point, we had to start doing, you, oh yeah, finish, take this one, you, take this one. This is all because we, we cannot pay for food finish and still be paying for the ones that we did not eat. Abby, what do you guys think? So we had to share it like, okay, just, you are full up, you are filled, Abby. Just take this last piece of this one. Take this last piece of this one. It was, it was funny, but at the same time, it was interesting. And, and we cleared everything we ordered just because we didn't want to pay extra for leftovers. And that was my visit to, you know, the local brewery and the Japanese restaurant, sushi restaurant. Thanks for watching, guys. Until we see you in the next video, have a beautiful life. Bye.